Hello there. I'm going to talk to you about this new moon in Gemini, which is also a partial solar eclipse. So that's like having a new moon on steroids. It makes it much more powerful. So if you think about everything connected with Gemini, Gemini is everything to do with communications, reading, writing, videoing, Skyping, social networking, marketing, negotiating. All these things are going to come under sharp focus during this particular new moon. So it depends where it falls. Check out your chart and see where it falls in your chart. It's, it's 11 degrees of Gemini. So you might find yourself looking for a new job, finding new projects, bouncing ideas around, brainstorming. This is a wonderful time for anything connected with the mind. For me, it's falling in my 11th house. And the 11th house is the house of dreams and wishes, but also the house of teaching and communicating ideas far and wide. And what I'm planning now to do finally are some online workshops. So I'm going to be sharing the joys and delights of astrology and how it can affect your life personally, nationally, globally, and how you can best prepare for these energies that are coming up. So that's how I'm going to utilize the energies of this new moon solar eclipse in Gemini. Now, I must also say that this is going to be a series of three eclipses. Normally, we get two eclipses together. This summer, well, for you in the Northern Hemisphere, it's summer. For us, it's winter here. But this summer, we've got three. This one in Gemini on the 1st of June. Then we've got another one on the 15th of June, which is a total lunar eclipse, which is a full moon in Sagittarius, which I will be doing a video about. And then we've got another eclipse falling with the new moon in Cancer on the 1st of July. So you can expect this to be a very powerful time. What eclipses do is they push you forward um, in ways that are often unexpected. If you at least know where it's falling in your chart, you can know um, the energies because the energies from an eclipse usually last at least six months, if not longer. Whereas a new moon, a few days up to a couple of weeks. So this, the energies from this are going to be long lasting. It's particularly going to affect the mutable signs, this particular new moon. So Gemini, Sag, Pisces and Virgo are going to be especially affected, but also affected because of the cardinal cross and everything that's going on. And with Cancer next month coming to balance out everything and make it into a grand cross, the cardinal signs too are going to be strongly affected. Libra, Aries, Cancer and Capricorn. So that's almost all of you in many ways. What with Jupiter going into Taurus, that's the Taurians affected. And for sure, even if you haven't got your sun in a mutable or cardinal sign, you've probably got your moon or your ascendant or at least another planet that is going to be seriously affected by these changes. So what can you do during a new moon in Gemini? What are the good things to do? Well, good things to do are meet new people, Meet somebody for just a chat and a coffee and a chat. A chat, that was a lot of chatting. Yes, that's the Gemini energy you see coming up. I'm getting in touch with all this Gemini energy. I'm sure you know when somebody has a lot of Gemini in their chart, you can't shut them up. You know, they're on the phone, they're texting, they're mobile, everything's on the go. Gemini rules the hands and the arms. So very often there's a lot of gesticulating. It's a very good time for making something with your hands good time to research new ideas, to share information, to teach, to write, to learn. It's a good time as well, an important time to listen carefully, to learn to listen better, because your relationships are also going to come at a sharp focus during this new moon in Gemini, particularly with it being an eclipse. Um, also, if you've been withholding, if there's been any secrets, you can expect everything to come out in the wash during this new moon in Gemini. So there will be a focus on your relationships and maybe learn how to listen more so that you can understand the other person's side of things. Good time to have a discussion or a debate or to start a new project. So that gives you quite a few things. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about 
how these eclipses are going to affect you, you might want to ask me a question or even have a reading because these eclipses are very powerful and some of us will be more affected than others but they are certainly very powerful and it's very valuable to know where they're coming up in your chart so that you can make best use of their energies. So I thank you very much for listening and I must also add that on a national global level I'm expecting to see more um, disasters, more natural disasters, more hurricanes, more storms, more seismic activity. I'm expecting to see more of that during these eclipses. There's going to be some more earth changes as I see it. So I thank you very much for listening. This is very chatty one because it's Gemini and Gemini like Gemini needs to chat and needs to talk. So I'm thanking you very much for listening and I wish you a happy and interesting and exciting new moon in Gemini. Bye for now.